it's been a great year for gamers. 2017 was hype beyond belief, and for the most part, it's lived up to the hype. We're only on month 5, and already we've seen critical and commercial successes, like Resident Evil 7, Horizon Zero Dawn, Nier Automata, and the amazingly refreshing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With so many high-profile games dropping with seemingly increased frequency, gamers would be hard-pressed to find rare and unique game experiences that don't occupy the same space as AAA games and solely survive on word of mouth. Enter Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares was crafted by the fun-loving team at Tarsier Studios. Tarsier Studios is based in Sweden, a small studio of 40 employees with a portfolio that includes working on games like Little Big Planet 1, 2, and 3, Little Big Planet Vita, and Tearaway Unfolded. One of Tarsier's latest projects is Little Nightmares. Well, as you can guess, I beat this game and I couldn't wait to share my thoughts on it. So here's the Beastly Gamer review of Little Nightmares. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story. In Little Nightmares, you play the role of Six, a nine-year-old girl who awakens in a strange mall, a sickening resort of sorts which caters to the whims of giant and disgusting monstrosities who would like nothing more than to eat you alive. After you wake up, you find yourself trying to get out of this hellhole. You soon find giant humanoid creatures, like a blind janitor with very short legs and extremely long arms who seems dead set on killing you. There are many disturbing creatures like this in Little Nightmares. Unsettling is the best term for this game, as you are constantly avoiding being seen or heard by these beings of nightmares. As you look for a safe route out, you find extremely troubling items, like articles of clothing and shoes from people like you that have been seemingly stored by these creatures after they are done eating them. One thing I loved about this game is that the story is told through your gameplay experience, so it feels a little different for each player. If you ever wanted a mashup of scary stories to tell in the dark, spirited away, and a nightmare before Christmas, then you will enjoy the heck out of Little Nightmares. Gameplay Little Nightmares is a third-person stealth puzzler platformer, and what it does, it does well. Virtually every item you see in this world can be manipulated and touched, this gives more depth to your experience. If there's a creature lurking nearby, you can grab an item and throw it far away, distracting the creature and giving you enough time and possibly a route to escape. Stealth is very important in this game as well, as there are times where staying in the shadows or behind objects is the only way to stay alive. There are also pretty unique puzzles here, nothing that will destroy your brain but they are clever enough to present real challenges. Platforming plays a big part in Little Nightmare as well. The game's unique control scheme requires that you hold the grab button during jumps to platforms or objects that you can hang from. This control scheme can take a little getting used to, but after some extended playtime, I had little issue with it. On the other hand, there were some times where I accidentally slipped off of a ledge due to odd camera angles and I died a few times as Six wouldn't grab onto some platforms, even though I was holding onto the grab button when it happened. Thankfully, this didn't happen very often. Graphics When I paid the $20 cost for this game, I wasn't expecting anything mind-blowing when it came to the visual presentation. Well, I got a huge shock. Little Nightmares is a stunningly beautiful game. Everything from the character models to the slick animations look top tier and easily on the level or even better than some AAA titles. The world looks alive and crisp, and enemies are horrifyingly beautiful. The greatest part of this game, visually, are the enemies. They just look so damn creepy, and they even look hungry. Their purpose is to eat, and they appear to have only that in mind. In early development for Little Nightmares, the game was originally titled Hunger and it is certainly the theme, and seeing the hunger in the eyes of these disgusting creatures makes you feel even more terrified. Little Nightmares is disturbingly beautiful. Sound Quite possibly the most immersive aspect of Little Nightmares is the sound. The developers have mastered the art of suspense through sound. The feeling you get when the You've Been Spotted music erupts in your ears is horrifying. 
Everything from the little nymphs that hide from you to the sounds of the twin chefs that chase you is terrifying. The soundtrack to this game is epic and it matches the mood perfectly. There is always a sense of dread in the air and that's exactly how this game should be. Final thoughts. Tarsier Studios got down on Little Nightmares. This game is everything I could have ever wanted in a quick $20 purchase. The game lasted for about 5-6 to six hours, and as a horror fan, I love the direction that this game took. It was fun, scary, and made me think. There were so many situations that occurred that were terrifying to me, and that was exciting. To be trapped in a world of giant demonic humanoids that want to eat you is scary as hell, and the way the experience was crafted made all the sense in the world. The stealth, platforming, and puzzling aspects of the game worked so well together. And for the price, this game is an unexpected jewel in a year already chocked full of amazing AAA experiences. Will little nightmares get lost in the shuffle of bigger games with tons of advertising behind them? Possibly. But hopefully, word of mouth gets around to the masses, because this game is amazing and it deserves to be played and enjoyed. If you're looking for the next sleeper hit, I need not say another word. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time playing Little Nightmares and as I said in the review, it was totally unexpected. I saw a trailer, it looked interesting, I played it and I loved it, and I'm actually playing through it again. It's that good. If you got an extra $20 in your wallet and you don't know what to do with it, I would say pick up Little Nightmares. The game is on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. If you enjoyed the review, please give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. If you'd like to take your support even further, please visit my Patreon page in the link in the description and become a patron. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh